I wanted to sort of put the ideas together that are going to be appearing on your exam into a couple of example problems. So this is kind of the culmination, the hardest thing that you're going to have to do in this unit, and I wanted to do it as a couple of example problems based on the lab that we just did. So we have a person pushing on a desk horizontally, and the desk doesn't move. And um, it's a 50 kilogram desk, and there's 200 newtons of force applied horizontally. And what we want to do is we want to draw a free body diagram. We want to set up the equations that describe what's happening in the x direction and in the y direction. And then we wanted to determine a few coefficients um, and a few numbers is what I should say. So um, here's the idea. I know that there's a normal force. I know that there is the downward force of gravity. And let's remember the desk has um, an inertia of 50 kilograms. Um, I am pushing horizontally this way. And since the desk doesn't budge, I have a force of static friction going the other way. So they say write the equation that describe the forces which act in a negative direction. So one of the rules, we're always going to say friction is the negative direction because it always acts to slow an object down or keep it from moving. And we're always going to say that this, the applied force is positive um, when it's going against friction. So we have the pushing force. Now, what we used to say is that these forces balance. I want to actually, um, we'll, we'll let you go ahead and do that. And what we'll say is that the uh, applied force here exactly equals the static friction. And then when we describe the forces which act in the y direction, we're going to say that the normal force pushing upwards exactly balances the gravitational force pushing downwards. Now, um, it says now for the next part, Determine the value of the frictional force? Well, let's go ahead and do that now. So we're going to have that the frictional force equals the applied force, and we were told that that was a 200 Newton force. So I get that from part A. From part B, it says get the normal force. Well, we know the normal force equals the downward gravitational force, so that's W, which is going to be the inertia times the acceleration due to gravity, which is going to be 50 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared. And when we do 50 times 9.8, we're going to actually end up getting 490 newtons. Now they ask us to get the coefficient of static friction. Let's just remember from our lab, we came up with the equation that the static friction equals the coefficient of friction times the normal force. So basically we can take this and this and obtain what they want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 200 newtons equals mu times 490, just like we did in the lab. This is the equivalent of the spring pushing and then we uh, use the weight to calculate the normal force, 490 newtons. So we get mu is going to be 200 over 490. So we work out mu to be 0 0.41. Now what we're going to do in our next, and there's no units, just to make that clear. Uh, what we're going to do in the next problem is uh, we're going to actually direct this 200 Newton force at an angle and learn how to deal with that.